Hey guys, what's up? It is the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting video because I am going to be introducing my two chinchillas together for the first time. I'm really excited because I've already begun the bonding process if that's what you want to call it. So I'm going to first start with explaining why Zoro's in Merlin's cage and Merlin's in Zoro's cage. So when I first got Merlin, I got him a couple years ago. He's five now. I got him about like six months ago and so far I have kept them in separate cages and I haven't let them interact with each other. I've just had their cages side by side for the past couple months so they've been smelling each other. I pet Merlin with one hand and then go and pet Zoro with the other hand so I can get their scents used to each other. But this time I decided to bump it up a notch and switch them into each other's cages so I was just going to clean their cages but I decided not to. Their cages need to be clean in about two days, so they have their scent, the other chinchilla scent, saturated all over the cage. The other chinchilla's food bowl, their hay feeder, their huts, their water bottles. So I am just going to leave them in like this, in this situation for a while. And immediately as I put them both in, especially Merlin, they've just been running around like sniffing, kind of exploring. He's really like, what is this setup? What is this smell? This is so weird. But I'm hoping to get them kind of used to each other's scent a little more and like live in the other one's environment so that when they meet for the first time, it's not just like, whoa, who is this, you know? And they've been looking at each other for a couple months, but I just thought this was an, a good step towards actually introducing them face to face. And this is the first, or I guess, I guess, second stage of the bonding process. They're just really getting used to each other. And Zoro wasn't a huge fan of this. Like Merlin is gonna destroy this within a day or two. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm in my laundry room right now and it's just the perfect room to introduce them in. I have this kind of counter thing where I can keep the carrier in case things go bad. And I have Merlin running around in here and the chinchilla notebook sign. And I didn't really have anything better to put here. I didn't feel like dragging out the playpen, so I just put a towel hoping Merlin won't get through. He probably will knowing him, but you know, see, he's already near it. So I got him in here just because I know that he's more comfortable running around me than Zoro. So I thought that this would be kind of a bit better idea. So let's see. I'm really nervous, you guys. I'm capturing this all for the first time. I really don't know what to expect. Come on. Come on, Merlin. He's literally ignoring him. I feel like he just wants to go and <laughs> find his cage. Hey, hey, oh my word, <laughs> no. I can't tell what they're doing. Are they like biting each other or just like smelling and like... From what I can see, it looks like they're just smelling each other and like bouncing away really fast. I don't know. And here's the thing, like... I know that chinchillas, usually one asserts dominance probably right away to show the other one who's boss, but I don't want this to go too far and like... Merlin, because I feel like he'd be the dominant one to like attack the other one. So like, it looks like they're fighting, they're not. They're just smelling each other. Can you see that? I don't know what they're doing. Hey, what are you guys doing, huh? What are you doing? Just smelling my sock. I'm thinking to switch them soon, put Merlin in here, put Zoro out here. No, Merlin. What are you doing? I don't think I would let them out at all today to see each other, but do the bars is okay.
Where are you going? You can't fit. Alright guys, so I quickly just caught Merlin, held him in my hand while I let him out and then switched them. So it literally took a minute to do that. So basically I'm going to see what's going to happen now that Merlin's in here. But here's the problem, like I know Merlin freaks out when he's in this cage, he hates being cooped up. And so I don't want him to exert like any aggression towards this guy because he's out and he has to be trapped, you know what I mean? It looks like that's what he's doing. I also don't want him to feel like he's, you know, not allowed to do anything else but sit in that little cage, so we'll see. So like Merlin was showing him interest when he was out here, but this guy doesn't seem to care, so... It looks like Merlin's being the aggressive one. I don't really know what to tell you guys. Um, this is just as confusing to me as it probably is to you guys and to them, because I've never done this before. So it's like 100% brand new to me. No. Hmm. I don't know guys. I think I should switch them back because this isn't going too well. Alright, so I switched them back and he freaked out when I grabbed him because he hates to be held and it looks like he literally like just let out a puff of fur, but I don't know you guys. It doesn't look like it's super neutral. It looks like Merlin's being more aggressive and asserting dominance, I knew he would because that's why he's had to live alone his whole life is because he's never gotten along with other ones. And I just thought like, you know, oh, it's been like five years, let me try again. But I don't think this is gonna work. Just like looking at it from right now, it's like my dream of bonding them might not be reality. Don't do that, no. Cause like just watch them. I don't want them to hurt each other, but by the way, as I'm filming these and you're watching these, if you have two chinchillas, if you've been through the bonding process, please DM me on Instagram, leave comments down below. I am really curious and I really want to know. I mean, I've done a lot of research, but research is one thing. Experiencing it yourself is a completely different thing. So please let me know if you've had aggressive chinchillas, like, I don't know, <laughs> um, that wouldn't seem to bond with each other. And if they eventually did, let me know how you did it. I don't know. Just leave me tips because what I'm doing right now is something that someone advised me to do, and I actually like this idea. It seems to be working fairly well as far as they're not like attacking each other, but they're still meeting each other, you know what I mean? So I knew you'd try to escape. I feel like given the chance, he would attack Zoro. Zoro is bigger than him, he's also fluffier, so that's why it looks like he's huge, but he is bigger than Merlin, I'm sure, because he weighs a little bit more than him when I hold him, but this guy has such a feisty attitude. My plan for right now is to keep trying to do this. I keep saying I don't know because I really don't know and I don't know what to do, but anyway, I'm going to put them back in their cages for now, and I'm going to put them back in their each of their own cages, because remember how I switched them, I'm going to put them back in their own cages now. But that is basically how their first introduction went. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much it.